from at the line. And the Jets now out shooting Tampa 20 to 19 in the game. Shot in front of that score! Paul Postma! Hey guys, it's Paul Postma from the Winnipeg Jets. I love Sigmund's books and his hockey stories. Welcome to Rock and Roll Literacy. When I had a chance for my presentation to be introduced to students by an NHL player, I jumped at it. Because when I'm doing presentations, I'm really conscious of trying to reach the reluctant readers and writers, knowing that if I'm successful with that, our great readers and writers will still be along for the ride. Uh, huh? Oh. Meet my friend, Justine McKean, the Queen of Green. I can only dream that my stories are as good as something produced by Pixar. But I can compare my presentation to a Pixar movie because I design it to be appropriate for all age groups. It'll still hold the older students' attention, but it's totally appropriate for our younger students. I think story is one of the most powerful engines we have to promote literacy. If we can get students lost in reading stories, or if we can get students hooked on writing stories that they're going to enjoy presenting to their teachers, the more words they put down on paper and the more words they read, the more their literacy skills improve. My name is Ty Sanders. I'm 14 years old. I live in a colony on Mars. And oh yeah, I'm in a wheelchair. Things are getting scary. Oxygen levels are dropping. There are strange creatures outside the dome. And the only hope to save everyone on the planet is me. And a robot I control with my brain. This is my reality. But why me? What are they not telling me? first part of my presentation, I focused on delivering a message that story is separate from writing. Writing is an amazing, cool delivery system. It's a 26-bit super code that when you arrange those parts of the code on paper, you get to take control over your teacher's thoughts, which is really cool. But you're going to use that super code to deliver the fun stuff the story and by breaking it into those two parts the rest of the presentation for me falls into place When I discuss writing as a delivery system, my emphasis is that we can all be good to great writers and all it takes is editing and revision. So I show them this piece, which by the way was my sixth edit. This will play on the screen behind me, I bring my own media gear, and I'm hoping that students will really understand the importance of editing when they see the work I do on my stories.
because I bring my own rear projection screen and projector, I get to use video during the presentation to make some of my points. Like here, when I introduce them to the fact that story does not need writing. I know, it's kind of silly, but it's a playful way to make my point about story, that they need to hook their teachers with a problem, reel their teachers in as the problem gets worse, and at the end, uh, resolve the problem. And I love using that because one, all the kids giggle, and two, it sends them back to the classroom wanting to make their teachers giggle for funny stories. And that leads me to my next point with the students. Great stories grab us emotionally. So their job is to make their teachers giggle with stories, or make their teachers sad, or make the teachers scared. Their job, in short, is to use story to mess with their teachers. Writing's gonna take control of the teacher's thoughts. Story is gonna mess with the teacher's feelings. But I'm very, 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 very careful. Was that enough varies? Very careful to emphasize that everything must be appropriate for the audience. In 2017, we mark 150 years since Confederation and 100 years since the Battle of Vimy Ridge. As part of my presentation this spring, I will be introducing students to the Battle of Vimy Ridge through my book Innocent Heroes and because it focuses on how war animals help soldiers, it's great appropriate for students in grade 3 and up. Thanks so much for letting me tell you about my rock and roll literacy presentation. The name is very simple, it comes from this. Great stories are like great songs, they make you feel something. And I thought I'd finish by sharing a novel that I wrote for grown-ups, in case you'd like to look into it. Again, thanks so much. For 71 years, I have kept a secret. Not even my daughter knew of my time in a prison camp. I was 10 years old when the Japanese stormed into our home in the Dutch East Indies. Our life of a privileged Dutch family disintegrated when we were herded off to a Japan camp. There was no way for anyone to make it through that experience and stay unchanged. Not if they're human. I knew beyond a doubt then that if my family was to survive, it was up to me. The past is haunting. I can never forget. 
the future is unfolding before me. And this I know. Time is a thief of glory.